we go. What up? It's your boy, Carver Moses. Time for a little something something. 2019 Donner's Elite Football. Four box break number three. As you can suspect for eBay. Let's do it to it. All right. Here we go. Yesterday was a blur. Yeah. Yesterday did go by pretty quick. You know, I had a doctor's appointment at 2 o'clock. From there, I went, you know, came straight to the office. And uh, broke a bunch of that, that, that NASCAR stuff, which is pretty fun. They're quick breaks to do. Uh, very cheap at $25 a spot. You get to keep your hit. And potentially win a box. It's a pretty sweet deal. Let me send a quick email here. Keep it going. Today is Tuesday. That new Spider-Man movie came out today. I have half a mind to watch it at like midnight or something. But school is out right now. So it's probably going to be packed with a bunch of kids and their parents and blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm not a big fan of? I'm not, uh, I'm not. I don't particularly like it when people bring babies into movie theaters. First of all, that baby has zero idea what's going on. Number two, that's pretty irresponsible of you to bring a baby to a movie theater. You know, regardless of what movie's playing, it's gonna be loud. It's gonna be dark. There's going to be a whole bunch of strangers. You know, that baby's going to cry at some point. So how about you do us all a favor and uh, keep that baby in your house until that baby uh, has some form of cognition. You know, until that baby can speak and walk on its own, uh, you know, please keep your babies at home. Or, or just away from public places in general, really. I, I just uh, another thing I don't understand is why people bring babies, in, you know, into Disney, or like you know, or stuff like that. Like why? Like okay, maybe to take a picture with with Mickey Mouse as a baby, you know, and then when you're you know older, you can look back at the photo albums and be like, hey, this was me apparently with Mickey Mouse. I have no idea that happened, but he, here's the proof that it happened. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I just find that stuff kind of silly and selfish uh, on behalf of the parents, to be honest. All right, that's my uh, my spiel for the day. What's up, Billy? What's up, Brara? McCall Hartman Jr., blue ink for the Chiefs. On card pen pal. Now, hopefully, we can get some more of this elite stuff, man. Stuff is nice. I like it. Plus, it's the first look at the rookies in their NFL uniforms. Darius Slayton, 299 Giants. One of your best friends is a Disney fanatic. I, I don't understand it, rah rah. Like, as far as a male is concerned, and you know what? He, no judgments here. I get it as far as women. You know, women like to live a fantasy. You know, they make up all these things in their heads. But I, I as a man, I, I just don't get it. Aaron Donald of the Rams to 299. You know, don't get me wrong. I like my Disney movies, you know, from time to time. But uh, if you think I'm going to buy an annual pass to go every weekend, I'd rather see paint dry. 
Kyler Murray, Elite Company. This will go to the Cardinals. Like, dude, like I like on Facebook. You know, I'll see like, uh, like for example, there's just there's this girl that I used to mess around with back in the day, like back in high school, right? And whatever things didn't work out, but we managed to stay friends somehow, right? You know, like, it never got that serious to the point where, like, you know, we hate each other. Like, we can stand each other, you know, we're, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? I guess we're adults about it? I don't know. Point is, you know, we, we chat on Facebook from time to time, and she's married with kids and blah, blah, blah. And she's one of those people that goes to Disney, like, every weekend. So I start to think to myself, thank God that things did not work out because I would be stuck going to Disney every weekend and I would hate my life if that was the case Calvin really 99 Falcons like I I just I just don't understand like I don't it's not like it changes you know what I mean it's the same Disney every single time you know well except now they they did add that Star Wars attraction which I'm not gonna lie I definitely want to check out but I'll probably go like five years from now when the you know when the storm quiets down a little bit Saquon Barkley Giants to 10 10 of 10 that's pretty good I'm gonna put a top loader on that yes I am Joe Paul and you know what I have no problem with that bro I would much rather be by myself than be stuck and that's really how I feel I, then because that's what it is I'd, I'd rather be by myself than be miserable with somebody else. No, no, thank you. you know, at least when I'm by myself, you know, nobody's nagging me. You know, I, I don't have to worry about nothing but myself. I don't have to worry about someone else's feelings. Yeah, you, you, you're not telling me anything negative there, Joe Pa. Uh, dude, I am 100% all right with being single. Trace McSorley, 299 Ravens. You know, once, once I get some monies... You know, if I want kids, I can go adopt children. You know what I mean? That that ain't no thing. That ain't no thing. Trayvon Mullen Jr., 699 Raiders. R.I.P. Tyler Skaggs, clam chowder guy. That's pretty sad. What's even more sad is how quick the listings were on eBay trying to get rid of his cards. The 25 Jays uh, Sternberger Packers. <laughs> Billy, I'm with you, man. As far as Disney's concerned, you know, it's cool once or twice, you know what I mean? But to go every weekend like it's the flea market or something, just please, just, just shoot me now. The 49 three color relic for uh, Mr. Matt Ryan of the Falcons. Yeah, dude, a whole bunch of people are trying to sell their uh, their Tyler Skaggs on the on the old eBay. Patrick Mahomes, the spellbound for the Chiefs to 2.99. We have Darrell Henderson, 299 Rams. We got Jay Sternberger, 699 Beckers. Yeah, rah, rah, yeah, that's uh, how I figured that went. Um, and, you know, I feel sorry for the guy. I feel real sorry for the guy. Josh Jacobs, 699 Raiders. You know, me either. I, I never went to Disney as a child. You know, first time I went to Disney was in high school for our uh, for our senior trip or whatever. I forget what, it, what, the, what we called it. 
but uh yeah we went to disney and they had shut it all down like high schoolers from around florida or whatever georgia came to to disney and grad bash or something like grad night i think that's what it was called uh vander h 299 cowboys that was the first time i had ever went to disney was for my grad night and it was cool i mean i i didn't really get to ride anything because my girlfriend at the time you know decided to be a huge spoiled brat and uh, I don't really have patience for that kind of stuff. So I, I didn't really get to enjoy that trip. You know, that, that kind of put, put a little saltiness in my, in my mouth. But, the you know, I went, like, I want to say, like, four years ago, I went again for the second time ever. And that time I got to enjoy it kind of somewhat. I went to, like, all the parks. And uh, it was a good time, you know. Again, for the first time, I, I had fun. It was cool. But, uh, I mean, I, I definitely wouldn't want to go back again anytime soon. Nah, I, I don't want to pay, I don't want to spend $25 for a beer. That's cool. You know, I could buy, I could buy a, a freaking 12 pack for like $10 if I wanted to. At, at the Wawa. No, maybe, maybe if I, you know, maybe if I end up, you know, getting married to someone stupid enough to marry me and give me children, you know, maybe, you know, I'll find myself at Disney again at some point. Uh, yeah, hopefully by then, you know, virtual reality technology will, will be so good that, uh, that I'll be able to be physically in Disney but via virtual reality, you know, I'll be watching the game or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I hear you 100%, brother. That's exactly, Raro. That's, that's the one thing that turns me off about marriage is like, don't get me wrong, man. I'm a huge romantic. I know I don't seem like it, but I would love to be, you know, have the wife and the kids and the white picket, the white picket fence and the red front door and, you know, the labradoodle and all that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I would love to have all that. That would be cool. That'd be awesome. You know, have the minivan and, and, and the sports car for the weekend and blah, blah, blah. That would be cool and all. But, you know, that's a fantasy, man. You know? The reality is that... It's like you said, man, a, 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 a very alarming portion of men are just not happy and would rather not be married. You know, I, I, I don't know if it's a joke or not, but the majority of men I talk to that are married, they all tell me the same thing. Enjoy being single. Don't get in a rush to get married because you're going to hate your life once you do. My thing is, why would you get married in the first place then? Like, I just, I don't understand it. And the truth of the matter is, marriage is really fi a financial decision. It's saying, "Hey, you know, I kind of, you know, I kind of like you. How about we combine both of our, of our bank accounts and uh, try to do this life thing?" I, that's how I see it, anyway. To ninety nine, Michael Thomas of the Saints. He don't got to worry about nothing because he got, he got that NFL money. We have Jonathan Abram to 99 Raiders. Four of five. Jeff Heath for the Cowboys. That's pretty cool. Four of five. Uh, I was going to say, JMS, you realize it's not the 4th of July yet, right? <laughs> but thank you, man. Thank you. Fourth of July falls on a Thursday, and guess where I'm going to be? Right here. Hopefully they have like a fireworks display, and I can kind of see it here, thanks to this view I got. Antonio Brown to 99 in his Raiders uniform, got a love Photoshop.
to 299, DeAndre Hopkins, Texans. Yeah, rah, rah, 100% correct as usual. Which is why I would turn to the good old, good old prenup. But I feel like women hear the word prenup and automatically in their head it's like, oh, this guy doesn't love me. You know, this guy's really not in love with me. Because if he really loved me, he would be okay with me taking half his crap if this thing doesn't work out. Lee Venner H to 49, 1 of 49. Very nice. Whoa, JMS. I just read the last sentence of that, and that is intense. <laughs> oh, boy. Same here, Billy, except we work on Easter. The only the only two holidays we don't work is Thanksgiving and Christmas. And, oh, and New Year's Day. Robert Woods to 49 Rams. Nah, dude, you know, rah, rah, I've, I've seen it happen, you know, not just with friends, but I've personally, you know, seen it with my mom and her ex-husbands. And yeah, it's it's uh I see how it affects her and it's it's definitely not I can imagine it would suck. Gary Jennings Jr. six ninety nine Seahawks. Do you, Chris Fitz? Do you? Listen, don't cry don't cry to me if you ever get divorced, buddy. Cause then I'm gonna look back at you and I'm I'm, I'm gonna give you the face. Nick Chubb, two ninety nine Browns. Hashtag uncomfortable. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's... How would you even like... I don't know, man. I'm going to stay out of that one. Riley Ridley, pen pal, on-card auto for the Bears. Oh, well then, yeah, you've... You walked into the correct conversation uh, there, Fitzy. 289 Harrison Smith Vikings. Uh, dude, I don't complain at all, man. Uh, no, actually, that's a lie. I complain all the time. Man, ex exactly, JMS. It's, it's a financial decision. You know, people don't get married anymore because oh, because I love them and they're the one. Nah, that that very very rare these days. Miles Gaskin, six ninety nine Dolphins. Now it's more so. You got money, I got money. We can kind of deal with each other. How about you know, we get married and we get this tax break. <laughs> Jay Sternberger to eighty seven Packers. Well, Rara, you know how that goes, man. We we gotta suck it up as men. You know we can't cry, we can't show any weakness, cause we're men. You know if you cry, you're a girl. How dare you? How dare you have feelings and emotions? That's for girls. Rashawn Gary, the elite company. I forget what team Rashawn Gary's on, but it would go to his pro team. I have to look up the checklist to confirm what his team is. I want to say. Raiders, but that's probably wrong. We have Adam Thielen to 81 Vikings. TJ Hawkinson, 699 Lions. Well, Ra Ra, I mean, I don't I don't know about smart financial decisions. Cause uh, you know, um I'm 
I want to say I'm at least forty to fifty thousand dollars in debt still, with credit card debt and student loan debt. Uh, I'm definitely twenty, thirty grand in debt for sure. Uh, I'm about ten k in credit card debt. I got ten k in a federal student loan, and there's still that private loan that I'm paying off. So I want to round it up to close to fifty grand in debt there. I, my car's paid off. It's in my name. So, you know, I got that going for me. I, my car is mine. So I don't have to worry about, you know, paying that off. And I like my car. Man. I love my car. Honestly, uh, I I thought about trading it in for, for a while there. And then, you know, I realized, wait, why would I why would I do that when, you know, I got this car paid off? And I, and I love it. It's, it's never done me wrong. The maintenance on it is is relatively inexpensive. You know, it's affordable. You know, thirty dollars. I have a full tank of gas. You know, and I you know, I love my car, so I'm good there. I still live with my mom. You know, but I, I am working on trying to save some money so I can move out next year. Me and a couple buddies of mine are looking to to get a house together, and, uh, and you know, split the rent and all that. You know, living in Miami, you kind of have to do that, you know, unless you have all, you know, unless you're making like five grand a month, Miami's not the kind of town where you could just live on your own. You know, unless you got that kind of, you know, unless you're making good money, you know, unless you're making four to five grand a month, can't really afford to live on your own in Miami. So right now, you know, I'm 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 putting up with living with my mom. You know, it's kind of hard to bring chicks back to the house. You know, I'm, I'm a 29 year old dude, and uh, you know, I'd much rather take her to a hotel or a motel or something for the night, and that's that. Than her, you know, than have her come to my house, which is not even my house. <laughs> But uh, but definitely, you know, uh, I'm just trying to save money, man. And that's pretty much where I'm at right now. You know, I'm, I'm focused on me. I'm not. Uh, I don't have time to worry about, you know, having a girlfriend or a wife or kids or anything like that. That's the beauty about being a man, is I don't have this biological clock that's ticking. You know, oh, have a baby, have a baby, have a baby. No, I, I, I don't have that biological clock ticking. As a man, you know, as long as I'm sterile, I can have babies whenever I want. I just got to find the oven to put it in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> rah, rah, that's, you know, too, that, that hits a little too close to home. It's more like, you know, she's she's in my she's in my bed, you know, sleeping or whatever. While I'm awake, either playing video games, I'm either playing 2K or I'm watching anime. <laughs> but, you know, definitely not asking Ma to bring the meatloaf. Baker Mayfield 299 Browns. That's one thing about me that I will say is I don't I don't just bring chicks home and introduce them to my mom. I like I, I that's I don't do that. Like the only way you're gonna meet my mom is if you're like my girlfriend. Like, like we're in a relationship and it's serious or whatever. That's the only way you're gonna meet moms. Otherwise, it's a wham bam thank you ma'am kind of situation. You got you got to be out the crib, you know, before I fall asleep. <laughs> anyway, Nicole Hartman Jr. to eighty three Chiefs. You know, JMS, I'm I'm thinking about making like a YouTube channel, and uh, hopefully I, that could be my second job. Kenyon Drake, the seventy-five Dolphins. I, it'll take some time to get that thing monetized, but you know the good the good thing about this gig is that uh, I do have a decent amount of you know time to myself. You know, and I've I've really been considering making a YouTube channel. Dwayne Haskins, that'll go to the Redskins.
the 299 Derek Carr Raiders. I thought I thought about doing Uber JMS, and thank you by the way, I appreciate that. Uh, but honestly, like I'm just I don't know, man. Like I have, like yes, I'm a people person to some extent, but I don't think I could handle you know dealing with drunk people if I'm not drunk my, <laughs> myself. You know what I mean? Like you know, growing up, my my stepfather at the time, you know, or whatever, huge alcoholic, so. You know, I, I, I have a very negative experience from that sense, you know. So I, I, I don't think I could deal with, you know, drunkards in my car. If I was driving a taxi, cool. That's not my car. You can throw up in the backseat if you want. That's cool. Darrell Henderson, blue ink for the Rams. We have Debo Samuel, 29 Niners. If I do, what's the difference between being a YouTuber and on Twitch, Chris Fitz? Can't you just, can't you do both, really? We have Ryan Finley to 85. Well, the issue, JMS, is I have a coupe, man. I have a coupe. Uh, I don't have a a, a four door, so I, I can't do Uber. Uh, I would have to trade my car in and get a four door. We have David Montgomery, six ninety nine beers. Ah, right, you are Fitz. I would I would do Twitch for like the live streams. You know what I mean? Like when I'm playing games or whatever. Which I don't play that as much anymore, but I might ramp that up, you know, if I'm on Twitch or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm really, really strongly considering, you know, starting the YouTube hustle. Robert Woods, the 24 Rams. But I, I definitely need like another source of income. Josh Jacobs Raiders pen pal auto. Uber Eats, ah, delivering food and whatnot. That you know, I feel like people think that I'm, I that's what I do because I come into this office, and this building is like full of lawyers and you know, people dressed in suits and whatnot, and like I'll come in with my lunch bag or whatever, my t-shirts and, and a pair of shorts and basketball shoes, and they're like, "Who the heck is this dude? Do you work here?" Like nobody ever says anything to me. But I, I, I can tell, given the looks and the body language and stuff, and that you know they're probably thinking like, oh, this guy's like a food delivery guy or something. To eighty five, Marquise Brown, Ravens. Oh, for sure, Fitz, for sure. I, I figured that much. You know, but I've been thinking if if I can do this, you know, I think I could do the YouTube Twitch thing. And not for nothing, like, I watch a few, like, other YouTubers or whatever. And some are hilarious, and that's why I watch them in the first place. But some of their, like, like some, like, friends of the YouTubers that I, I follow, like, they're not even funny. Like, I just, I don't understand, like, how they have 2 million subscribers, and, like, their content is crap. But, you know, here they are with 2 million subscribers, monetized, each video gets, like, at least a million views, but they're corny as hell. I figured, shit, I could do that. Anyway, Jordan Scarlett, 699 Panthers. No fan, 699 Broncos. To 299, Deontay Johnson, Steelers. Oh, Fitz. You know, the more and more I look at the uniform, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I, I guess it's growing on me. The uh, the Jets new uniform. Jared Goff, 189. Rams. 
When people subscribe on Twitch, that pays you two fifty per person. Oh snaps! You know what? I, and like, dude, I, like I hate horror games. Like Resident Evil, like the new Resident Evil that came out. Like I saw the gameplay of it. Like I saw some, like which is crazy to me now. That I am now that old dude that watches kids play video games instead of actually playing the video game. But, like, I make an exception for horror games. Like, I am a fan of horror movies. Like, I like horror movies. Like, I will watch a horror movie by myself with the lights off, no problem. In the middle of the night, you know, with my feet over the bed so that the monster underneath my bed can go and grab my feet and pull me under, you know, no problemo. I can do that, no problem. But play a horror game? No way. It's too immersive. It's too real for me. I could not do it. But people would probably pay to see me do that and be a scared little bitch. Well, Billy, Twitch, Twitch is basically uh, people who play games, uh, like video games and stuff like that. That it's it's mainly what it's for it's for gamers. Yeah, we used to stream on Twitch, and it was really a waste of time because, you know, we don't really play games here. James, I'm, I'm going to have to look into that because I, I have a... It's funny you mentioned that. I went to Publix, I want to say like a month ago, and I saw a friend of mine that I hadn't seen since like high school or whatever. And uh, good friend, you know, we were really good friends back in the day. And you know how it is. You just lose touch over the years. And uh, whatever, we, you know, we, we talked. We, you know, we exchanged numbers or whatever. And, uh, you know, he, I was like, oh, dude, you work at Publix? Because I noticed he was, like, bagging stuff up or whatever. And, uh, you know, apparently he works for, you know, he works for DoorDash. You know, and he's telling me how that, like, that was his, like, his second job. And, like, he just does it, like, three or four times out the week or whatever. And he was telling me he, he makes decent money doing that, so I might have to hit him up and see what's going on. Yeah, maybe hook me up with a little J-O-B. As long as I can do it in my car, no problem. And as long as they don't drug test either, because, <laughs> yeah, that thing going to be dirty. Oh, the background check will be fine. You know, I only have like speeding tickets, and I, I haven't got a speeding ticket in like at least five years. No criminal record. Never been to jail. Never been arrested. Never been detained. Uh, thankfully. All right, last and fourth box. Let's see what we got. Got Kyler Murray, six ninety nine Cardinals. To two ninety nine and kill Harry Patriots. Oh, that's kind of cool. No schedule for the Uber Eats. You kind of make your own schedule. Friend talking to Vikings today. I got to talk to my boy. And, uh, you know, get more information from him there. Because that, you know, that sounds like a pretty easy second gig. You know what I mean? Go, go shopping for people and then deliver it to them. That sounds, uh, sounds a little too good to be true. I'm going to have to look into Amazon too, Fitz. You know, Definitely need more sources of income. McCaffrey, to their name, Panthers. 
JJ Watt to 99 Texans. What Amazon or DoorDash would make my insurance go up? I can understand if I was an Uber driver. To 75 Patrick Mahomes Chiefs. Sean in the house. Doug I had in the house. Uber Eats would make my, my my premium go up? That don't make no sense. It's not like I have random people in my car. Just got groceries. Uh, Sean, I got you when I'm done here. I got you. Don't ask, don't tell. Oh, yeah. I like your style, JMS. We have Gary Jennings Jr. to 99 Seahawks. So, Fitz, real quick question. If I was to make a Twitch, what video games would you like to see me play? Daniel Jones, 299 Giants. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, the Gary Jennings Jr. Let me top load this. Autograph to 99 for the Seahawks. Both, uh, both fits would be ideal. Um, I guess either or, I'm just more or less trying to gauge uh, your thoughts. Josh Oliver, 699 Jags. Oh, dude, I haven't played Madden since Sean Alexander was on the cover. I'm pretty good at 2K. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty awesome at 2K. You know, I started doing my team yesterday until I figured out that that's a cash grab, so fuck that. But I, I do be on my career. That that's That's mainly what I'm on, that my career. We have Christian Wilkins, 299 Dolphins. Six ninety nine Dexter Williams Packers. Ooh, that could be a good idea. Do a my career where I don't, you know, I don't buy VC or anything like that. I just I just really I just grind. James Conner to 49 Stellars. We got Will Greer. For the Panthers with the on card Pen Pal Auto. Dude, I stopped playing Madden when they started doing like the whole QB vision and you know you gotta throw your receivers open and blah 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 bang man. It's it's too real for me. It's too real. Zeke Elliott to the Cowboys. That, and like if I want to truck somebody, there's a 50% chance the dude's going to fumble. And like, just no. Baker Mayfield for the Browns. That is the 299. All right. So, let's go there. So, that's it for the break. I'm going to recap it here in a bit. Uh, but first, let me get the checklist here. Because I need to know where this Rashawn Gary character goes to. Because I'm not quite sure. I know the other guys, though. Rashawn. Gary is a Packer. All right, cool. So, this is Dwayne Haskins, obviously, is a Redskin. Rashawn Gary is a Packer. And Kyler Murray 
is a cardinal. Coolsies. So let's recap some cool stuff. We got this Jeff Heath for the Cowboys. That is numbered 4 of 5. We have Saquon Barkley of the Giants, which is 10 of 10. And the autos, we got Will Greer Panthers, Gary Jennings Jr. 99 Seahawks, Josh Jacobs Raiders, Darrell Henderson Rams, Riley Ridley Bears, Lane Renner H of the Cowboys to 49, Irv Smith Jr. to 99 Vikings, and Nicole Hardman Jr. of the Chiefs. And that is going to do it for the break. Thank you, everybody.